Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to the channel, the Mariners SK. So for those of you who are new out there, this is Kerit Daksh Kumar, a DNS passed out Kerit from Tanani Maritime Institute and sponsored by Synergy Marine Group. So this video, I'm purposely making for those candidates who are now feeling disappointed and demotivated because they couldn't get into a maritime college just after class 12. Be it unavailability of information about IMUCT, sponsorship examinations or lack of preparation or anything. The end result is they couldn't get into a maritime college just after their class 12th examinations. And now they are filled up with thoughts like, will they ever be able to achieve their dream of becoming a Merchant Navy officer? Can dropouts get selected in the DNS course? So I am out there to burst all these myths around the selection process of DNS course that droppers don't have any opportunity. I say this because I myself am a dropper candidate who achieved his dream of getting into a maritime college being a dropper student. Let's dive into the video. Discuss about what should be your plan of action during the drop year. In mind is eligibility criteria. In order to even sit for examination as well as interviews, you need to be eligible for them. So go to the websites of shipping companies and check for their eligibility criteria. Do your homework. I would break down the eligibility criteria into three subgroups. The first one is your score in PCM in class 12th. Second is your age and third is your medical fitness. Now the medical fitness standards are set by DG Shipping and is the same for all companies. So what you can do is go to the videos of this channel. You will find a video on what is the medical fitness level required to join this field. You can check for all those criteria, and if you are eligible, you don't need to check for other companies as it is the same for all the companies. Now what differs with companies is the first two criteria that is the score in PCM and the age criteria. Now, the minimum score in PCM that you should be having individually is 60%. Is that sufficient? No, not at all. Why? Because the number of candidates who are now turning towards Merchant Navy as a career are increasing day by day. To check this, you can check the data of how many candidates sat for IMCT examination in the year 2022, compare it with that of 2023 and 2024. You would notice that the number of candidates who are sitting for these examinations are increasing year by year. Now, I am in contact with all my students at Budding Mariners and I could, I could see that the average PCM percentage in candidates is now becoming 85. Students with score of 90, 95 are even turning towards the DNS sponsorship. Now, if a company is getting a candidate with the with same skill sets, with PCM percentage, one with 70 and one with 85, whom will the company prefer? Obviously, the one with 85 percentage. So, what you should keep in mind is try to score as much in PCM. Now, as you're a dropper, you have already given class 12. You would be having your report card and percentage. My suggestion would be if you have a score of less than 70 percentage, you have a golden opportunity of improving that score in the drop year by giving the improvement examinations. If it is more than 70, I won't suggest to take improvement examination as some companies like lead management don't allow improvement candidates. So what you can do is work on other areas better in order to compensate for your loss in PCM percentage. But if your percentage is less than 70, you should definitely go for improvement examinations as companies like fleet states don't even let people who scored less than 70 percentage to sit in their examination. So summing up, if your score is less than 70, go for improvement examination. If it is more than 70, you can compensate it by working on other areas well. Now, this was all about the PCM requirements. Yeah. Now, the second requirement is the age criteria. Talking about the age criteria is as my age was under 19 when I was in my drop year, I didn't face any issues with being eligible for any company. Now, the eligibility criteria generally varies from 18 to 25. If you are less than 19, you are almost eligible in all the companies. No need to check for the age criteria also. But if you are more than 19, then you are not eligible in all the companies. Do your homework, go on websites of different companies who have their brochure for DNS course, check what is their eligibility criteria and write down all those companies which you are eligible in so that you can aim only for those companies. It was all about the eligibility criteria that you need to have. Every shipping company has different eligibility criteria. Do your homework and see where you qualify. Of this video that is doing exam preparation as a dropper. Now, being a dropper, I always had an extra advantage of time. I utilize this time to do company specific preparation. You should also do that. Now, this is where budding mariners helped me. 
as I could understand the exam pattern of different companies. Some companies focus more on PCM. Some companies focus more on reasoning and general aptitude. Some companies focus more on general knowledge and geography questions. So this is where I took the use of previous year question papers. Budding Mariners provides previous year question papers of all the companies. Even if you are not there in Budding Mariners and you have any seniors who have given these examinations in past years, you could ask them for previous year question papers. By solving it, you can get a gist of what to expect. Now, the next important thing is giving mock test. In Budding Mariners, we take online mock tests. You can also find some online mock tests and try solving it against time. This helps to improve your speed as well as accuracy. Now, after giving mock test, you should analyze what are your weak areas. For me, for example, it was mathematics. So, I used to spend extra time doing mathematics so that my score boosts up. Now guys, I am again telling, the major advantage you have being a dropper is time. Make the fullest use of it. The most important segment of this video that is interview preparation. Now this is where being a dropper can be tricky because the interview would focus on why did you took a drop here. This is how you can handle it. Number one suggestion, be honest. I used to be honest in my interview. I explained them my reason of taking a drop here and I utilized my time to prepare better and improve my knowledge about this field. And I actually did that. I used, apart from preparing for my written examination, as I told you previously, I used to utilize my time researching about the field of Merchant Navy and the companies. Before going on to the interview, I used to research in and out about that company. For example, who is the CEO? What is the, what are the types of ships they are having? What are the number of ships they are having? What is their motto? What was their timeline? How did they grow up? And all those, any specific achievements they have brought in maritime industry. I used to go on their LinkedIn page. I used to research what is going on recently in that company. And I used to tell them all those things. I used to showcase my knowledge. This is what made me stand out out of other aspirants. Because all those aspirants who came just after 12th, didn't have time to do all these things. I made myself stand out by showcasing my knowledge about this field and showcasing my genuine interest in their company. This is where you can also win. Showcase your knowledge. To showcase, you have to first gain those, gain that knowledge. Go on the field, go on their websites. Check for what is their motto, as I said, types of ships, everything. See, you should know in and out about that company if you're going for the interview of that company because they expect you more than a candidate who is coming just after 12. Because you are a dropper, you have to showcase your knowledge on how you utilize this time. You should know everything about Merchant Navy. What are they? Now, you can't know everything. I don't even expect you to know everything. But you should know at least more than what a candidate out of class 12th would be knowing. This is what that will make you stand out. Some common questions are, why do you want to join Merchant Navy? Most important question, what did you do in your drop year? Now, don't speak about things unrelated to academics. Generally, speak about how you utilize your time in improving your academics and researching about this field and actually do that and reflect that in your answers. Talking about myself, my interview, actually do that and reflect that in your answers. This is the key. They want to see your genuine interest and dedication. This is how you can successfully clear the interview rounds of companies. For the interview round, I would like to wrap up this video by giving out some of my final tips. So guys, prepare well, utilize this drop year effectively. The time is good, but you have to do many things to be extraordinary and stand out being a dropper. I did that. I utilized my time. First of all, my PCM percentage was more than 75. So I didn't think about giving the improvement examination. I focused on other areas. If your PCM score is less than 70, give the improvement examination, improve your score drastically. If it is more than 70, no, no need to give improvement examination. You can do what I did as I focused on other areas. Now, focus on doing company specific preparation. This is very important. If you're doing a drop here, utilize this because by doing this, you'll make the written experience a cakewalk. Every company focuses on different things. Make a list of all those companies that you are targeting. Set your standards high. Target on good shipping companies. Go for their exam pattern. Prepare according to their exam pattern. After that, about the interview rounds, I've already told you being a dropper, this is the place where your selection gets decided, whether you are standing out of other candidates or not. If you are knowing about this field, 
more than what others know or not if you have researched about their company or not do all these things utilize these times take interest take genuine interest in this field and utilize this time in gaining more and more knowledge the more and more knowledge you gain you are increasing your chances of getting through the interview rounds guys the last thing that i would suggest you is be confident confidence speaks if you are confident even if your knowledge is a little bit less still you will have an upper hand by showing confidence now another thing which you should do in the drop year is improve your communication skills english speaking skills is very 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 important in this field if you are lacking in english speaking skills another main reason to utilize the time is by taking a drop year you have a golden opportunity to improve your communication skills improve your communication skills improve your confidence it's the beginning the journey in maritime industry is challenging yet very rewarding thank you for watching this video i gave out all the information i could and i tried my best to motivate all those droppers by giving out the exact strategies that i have used to follow in my drop year and let me assure you that with 100% confidence i can say that if you follow my advice which i have given in this video you will make through the interviews and examinations the next year this is my 100% assurance and guarantee do consider hitting that like button if you want to stay updated with all those videos related to maritime industry stay subscribed with this channel till then this is daksh kumar signing off see you in the next video